The July 2014 Peru mission team was blessed with a great week of ministry in Catahuasi and Villafranca. With a small team of four guys and two translators, we were able to spend a lot of time in the village of Villafranca where we conducted nightly storying sessions. Through these sessions, we were able to share stories from the Bible, have meaningful gospel conversations, and build relationships with the people of Villafranca. As a result, two teenage girls repented of their sins and trusted in Jesus. We also spent time with the students and teachers at the primary and secondary school in Villafranca. We shared the gospel using a soccer ball, taught Bible stories to the students, and conducted a photo ministry at both schools. On the last day we were in Via Franca, one of the teachers gave her life to Jesus Christ. It was a great opportunity to share the love of Jesus with the students of Via Franca. The team had a very productive trip to this small village, about an hour from Catahuasi. We learned a lot about the people of Villafranca, built a lot of relationships, and planted many seeds of the gospel while there. The entire village is excited about future teams coming to share about Jesus with them. We were blessed to enjoy some wonderful times of fellowship, both with the people of Villafranca and with each other. One of the most poignant moments of the trip was when we went to visit a believer in Catahuasi named Pablo. We first met Pablo on our vision trip in October 2010. Pablo was not a Christian at the time, and we spent a lot of time with him over multiple trips, building a friendship, sharing the gospel, and praying for him. As a result, Pablo gave his life to Jesus Christ in 2012. In April 2013, Pablo said he wanted to be baptized, so we carried him up a creek bed in Conchon and we baptized him. The day we baptized Pablo was undoubtedly one of the most special moments of ministry we have had in Peru. He was the first believer in Catahuasi that we had the privilege to baptize. On this trip, when we went to visit Pablo, we were saddened to learn that he had died and was buried in the cemetery in Pueblo Antigua. It was hard to lose a friend that we had ministered to for such a long time and had come to know as a brother in Christ. However, we rejoice in the knowledge that Pablo is now with his Lord and Savior. Some people might say that Pablo is in heaven today because of the people of First Baptist Church and their heart for missions, but that is really not the case at all. Pablo is in heaven today 
because Jesus loved him enough to lay down his life on a cross for Pablo. Our only part in this was that we had the privilege to share this good news with Pablo and witness his life being changed for all eternity. Worship your